All right, I just wanted to make uh, a quick video about these scams, man. Um, the scams about Bitcoin, about Uniswap, about basically any popular cryptocurrency. Um, right now I'm actually on, on just looking for, for instance, the name of one of the people who's on the white paper for Uniswap. Like I was just watching a video on YouTube and then all of a sudden the next video that YouTube was showing me was this one interview with Hayden Adams from Uniswap. One of the, like the first name on the white paper for Uniswap basically. The guy who represents Uniswap even though it's decentralized. Um, he's got like, so over here on this uh, page I just literally in DuckDuckGo made a search for Hayden Adams Uniswap, went to the video search, and look at this. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 videos, which are about different sizes of Uniswap giveaway. One is like 500,000 uni, uni giveaway, one's, wow, 100 million uni giveaway. 10 million uni giveaway, 500,000 uni giveaway. And they all have, like, one has only got 14 views. It was made on September 18th. The next one has got 8.7K views um, from the same day. And then two more, these two others are the next day. They were created the next day. All of these uh, were taking place basically within three days of each other. And it's very recent. It was just, what, three weeks ago? Two, two and a half weeks ago? And literally, I mean, it takes up about 60% of the actual videos that are shown on the DuckDuckGo search about Uniswap. I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? First off, never, ever, 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 ever ever accept money or rather send money off to some random ass address that's telling you that it's going to send you back a certain amount of money there's no guarantee they're going to send you back that money come on now you're smarter than that you deserve better than that instead of doing something like falling for one of these stupid scams that YouTube seems to be promoting, maybe it would be a better idea to try and actually take your, your uh, money, learn something about trading, and, and, go into, and go into a market or get a proper broker for you who will go in and do some crypto trading for you. I mean, this is ridiculous, people. There's no, there's no a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Leprechauns don't exist. I'm sorry. It's just a scam. It's just a scam. Unicorns exist because Uniswap exists. But there's a lot of fake unicorns out there, and they're all trying to get your money. Also, okay, fine. Let's say that you actually click on one of these links, right? Right now, I'm actually on a, on a video... Um, and this video, this video is an interview with, uh, with, with Hayden and okay, check this out. There's a bit.ly link in the video, more info, and there's just a whole bunch of hash hashtags, right? Some by some guy named Mr. Diamond music. If you actually go to his YouTube channel, there's like Hindi music on there. There's all kinds of stuff. So it definitely seems like a hacked channel. Um, so someone who actually had like, you know, 60,000 subscribers or something. And then, of course, that's how it works. They've got a hack channel. They've got the 60,000 subscribers. The person is already getting a lot of views on their videos. So they just go into the account, upload one of these videos, put the proper hashtags on there, and then bam, YouTube is starting to like recommend them completely. So it's really not a matter of if YouTube is actually letting these people, uh, you know, blatantly run ads it's that they've got a whole shitload of hacked youtube accounts and when you click on this link check this out you go to this page and you've got what 
Uh, Uniswap believes that blockchain uni token will make the world more fair. Blah, 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 blah. And then it tells you, you just need to send between 400 uni and 100,000 uni to the contribution address. Okay. Then they give you like a whole table of, you know, like what you could make. Then they give you a payment address with a QR code. And they give you uh, some more points. And they also allow you to send them Bitcoin or something like that, it seems. And then check check this out. They've got a transaction address. Now, I think on the ETH network, the transaction addresses are actually, you can see what's going on. There's full transparency. After this, though, th this is the thing that gets most people. They've got this like live view of in and out, them sending money back to people that's live. And it shows up with like new transactions all the time. But it's actually just a script that's just there. It's pre-scripted. Every time you reload the page, that entire thing starts over again. But as you're looking at this, you're like, oh, wow, you know, there's not enough, not enough of these left over. And they've got this counter on here that shows you, oh, man, we've already given away this much of our stuff. Okay, great. So here's the thing. How do you check if this actually exists? So let's go in to ETH over here and let's grab this address and let's take a look at who's actually fallen for this because you can see how much money they're making off of it because people are sending them these uni tokens anyway so you, you go to this website you take a look you put the address in and then bam it shows you all of the transactions that are happening on the blockchain right now in eth that are going to that address the point about these things is that they've got to be only around for some period of time because governments are cracking down on getting these people caught, right? And the whole idea about uh, about blockchain, one of the ideas about blockchain is that you can get not anonymity, but pseudonymity, which means that instead of being completely anonymous, you've, you've got a pseudonym. That's these addresses. You can just make an address up and then you, you, you put that somewhere as a link or as a QR code, and then people can send you money on that address, but that address itself is, however many transactions go through on that address, that's the amount of transactions that are actually gonna be showing there. Um, inside of, in, so, so you can see all of these people falling for this. I saw one where they've made millions in a very short period of time by getting people to send them Bitcoin. So really be careful with this, guys. Really be careful with this. If you're new to the, the scene with crypto, do not fall for these scams.